Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to use one of the hottest and most amazing tools I've ever seen. I refer, of course, to ChatGPT, a website where you can have a highly intelligent and useful conversation with a computer. I wish I could do the same with some humans I know. In this video, you'll see ChatGPT do two amazing things. It will give a detailed answer to one of the burning questions of our time, and it will also get me out of a really awkward situation. You may find this very useful yourselves. What exactly is ChatGPT? Well, that's a subject for other people. I'll put some links in the description, but I can tell you that it is from a research lab called OpenAI, which is now a close partner with Microsoft. It's a sure bet that this amazing technology will soon appear in several Microsoft products, including my favorite apps, Word, PowerPoint, and especially Excel. Probably the best way to describe ChatGPT is to actually use it. And when we are finished, you can tell me in the comments if this is not the most amazing groundbreaking technology you have ever seen. So let's get started. All you need is an OpenAI account, which is free, my favorite kind. Just go to chat.openai.com. Of course, we have the standard sign-in process. We'll put in our email address, choose a password, and then we check our email for a verification code. And then they want our name, our phone, and then verify that. And finally, we click the next button a few times. Great, looks like we are in. Now, let's have some fun with ChatGPT. We can ask any question. How about the most burning question of the day? Why are the Kardashians so popular? Let's hit the enter key, and here comes our answer. The Kardashians are a popular family because they have been successful in various areas of entertainment and entrepreneurship. Please note that ChatGPT cannot talk, at least not yet. This is an old computer voice on my iMac. When ChatGPT does actually talk, it will sound a whole lot better. Probably something like this. They have built a brand that focuses on their personal lives fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Well, you get the idea. If you are interested, and who wouldn't be, you can see the full response in the description. The main point is that, believe it or not, ChatGPT came up with a pretty good answer, but it's not quite perfect. It does make mistakes. After all, it gets its information from the internet, and we all know how much junk is on the internet. So not perfect, but really close. Now, answering questions is great, but, ChatGPT can also do things for us. What? Yes, it can write for us stories, poems, movie scripts, recipes, love letters, and even computer programs. Here's a personal example. Let's say my former boss invited me to the opening of his art exhibit. For several reasons, I really don't want to go, but I don't want to hurt his feelings. Let's see if ChatGPT can write a nice email to get me out of this. My former boss, Bob, is celebrating the opening of his art exhibit. Please write an email to Bob apologizing for the fact that I will not be able to attend. What I just typed is called a prompt. Now, you don't have to say please, but I want to be nice. After all, these things may be controlling us one day. <laughs> and note that a prompt can have several sentences. In fact, sometimes prompts can be really long with several paragraphs. Now let's hit the enter key and see what ChatGPT can do for us. Dear Bob, I hope this email finds you well. I wanted to take a moment to congratulate you on the opening of your art exhibit. I am sure it will be a great success and that your hard work will pay off. I am writing to you today, however, with a heavy heart. And so on. Again, you can read the whole response in the description. Not bad, but a bit stiff. Let's see if it can do a little better. Please do it again, comma, but use an informal style. Hey, Bob. I hope you're doing well. Congratulations on your art exhibit opening. I'm sure it's going to be amazing, and I'm so happy for you. Ah, uh, much better. In fact, a lot better than I could ever do. Again, you can see the whole response in the description. Note that we could have kept giving new prompts until we got the desired result. It's kind of like having a chat with someone, and that's why they call this a chatbot. Well, what do you think? Isn't this amazing? Of course, to really appreciate the power of any tool, you have to use it yourself. Do you have a question that you always wondered about? Or are you having trouble writing something? Give ChatGPT a try. Don't be afraid. Have fun. Be creative. You will be amazed. 
And if, well, I mean, when ChatGPT does something really interesting for us, let us know in the comments so we can try it also. I look forward to seeing some amazing results. And if you haven't already, be sure to give a click to the subscribe button. Thanks for doing that. And as always, thank you very much for watching.